Today we're going to be working on the Honda Civic, our daily driving car. There's a major issue with it. We have what's called oil dilution problems. So the fuel is getting into the oil somehow and it's a common issue with these cars, the Civics and the CRVs with the 1.5 liter engine. Uh, I don't know how it gets in there. I'm guessing through the heads or through the cylinder somehow, but it's not good because when you're diluting the engine oil, the fuel kind of thins out the oil and then when you have thinner oil then you have issues with engine wear so for us since we're out of warranty and we have a modified Civic we unfortunately have to change it ourselves the oil and kind of do our own maintenance we have to change the oil more frequently because if you have issues down the line uh, with the oil thinning out you don't want to be running it for five to ten thousand miles so we're gonna be changing it every one to two thousand miles it's a headache for us but it's better than replacing the engine itself so this engine is only supposed to hold 3.7 quarts of oil and if you are more than 3.7 quarts then you have an oil dilution issue because it's adding more oil as you go on and when you're overfilled that's not good for your engine either so we'll find out how overfilled we are once I drain it out. Another way you can tell if you have oil dilution issue is if you pull out the dipstick and you smell it. It stings the nostrils. Brian, I'm gonna be honest with you, that smells like pure gasoline, which is not good either. So smell your oil and check the fluid levels. If it's up, you probably have a dilution issue and you should definitely take it to Honda dealership so that you can get it fixed under warranty. Unfortunately for us, we don't have it, so I hope you guys still have warranty or some kind of way to uh, assess the issue and to figure out your own solution. For us, we're gonna have to just change the oil every every uh, 1,000 to 2,000 miles. And what else? Oh, and we have to make sure that we drive it very carefully when it's cold. So don't uh, drive it or rev it up when it's a uh, cold engine because if it's not up to operating temperature, you can do a lot of damage to the engine itself. All right, so we're underneath. You need a 17 millimeter socket. And my wife has done a DIY on this before. I'll link a video to it mm -hmm. if you guys want to know how to really do this correctly. I'm going to do the quick version. All right, broke it loose. Get ready to catch it because it's going to splatter forward pretty quick here. Alrighty, now the waiting game. Uh, I did drive the car for like five minutes just to kind of uh, let it warm up so it flows out quicker. And I also took out the engine oil cap so that it's able to flow out much quicker as well. Definitely needed to be changed. The last time I changed the oil on this was about 3,000 miles ago. No, th uh, 4,000 miles ago. Uh, three months ago is when we did the last oil change. <clears throat> so let's let that drain for a couple minutes. Okay, now I'm gonna remove the oil filter. So you need a oil filter wrench in order to take this off. Drain the oil that's in the filter itself. <clears throat> All right, so this is how much I drained out after 4,000 miles of driving. Normally, it's supposed to be 3.7 liters, or sorry, 3.7 quarts of oil, and I double checked every time to make sure that it was at the correct uh, fill line, and I was able to drain out a little bit over four quarts. So that shows you that we've been uh, getting oil dilution or fuel in there um, and it has risen our oil level above 3.7 to a little bit over four quarts. Take a look at the condition of the oil. It's uh, pretty dark. It looks pretty liquidy. It smells like fuel. Uh, my wife knows the smell of fuel so I'll have her smell and then oh. Let me know. Let me know. What does it smell like? Why are you Ellie? saying I know? <laughs> <laughs> she hates it. 
Yeah. Does that smell like fuel or oil? It's like fuel. Because <laughs> oil has yeah. a different scent. That's true. Well, anyway. <laughs> like when you go to a gasoline station, it smells like fuel. <laughs> All right, so I'm just filling up now. I'm gonna put three and a half quarts in, and then we'll start the engine, drive it off the ramps, and then recheck the oil level again. Okay, let's check our oil level. So if you look at it, we're right on the, it's hard to see because of the orange dipstick, but. Okay, so as you can see, we're in the middle now, right on the middle. Uh, for our oil level, so we are good to go. I'm gonna put this back in place and we'll change it out again in another 2,000 miles or so. So to close off this video, I just wanted to bring light to the situation, make everybody aware uh, to check for oil dilution on your Civic or your CRV, anything with the 1.5 liter turbo engine. Um, you don't wanna be driving around too often with uh, thinning oil because of fuel dilution in your oil so make sure you check your oil level smell it and take it to Honda to have them fix the issue properly if they can but uh, other than that you know hope you guys are able to uh, have that issue fixed if you have it and hopefully you don't have the issue in the first place I'll keep you guys updated on anything else I find but for now frequent oil changes is what we got to do Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye. <laughs>